Hello folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. When we last left off, uh, we had just sorted out the uh, situation between the Sisters of Asylum, or, well, I guess her name is now Tourette, according to the subtitles <laughs> in the last episode. Um, aside from that, uh, actually, just before I started the episode, I popped back into the club to get a little bit more blood, and also to pick up this Hunted Hunter quest that I uh, forgot to pick up on this sort of new save. Um, so, uh, the important information here is since we've already looked at uh, Kilpatrick's crime pewter and looked at all those people, um, the, the license belongs to Virgil Crumb, um, and he's dead. <laughs> so we should probably go check the morgue. Um, more specifically, we look at the driver license right here. That is uh, a one Virgil Crumb. So to the morgue we go. Let's uh, take a look down there. We already went down there once, um, but uh, there was not really anything of interest there. I think we want to go this way, don't we? Right around the corner here. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we find down there, and hopefully we can find this uh, Asian vampire. Okay, there's a uh, vandal. We uh, we don't need to buy anything from him right now. I think the morgue was this way. That's the freezer, laundry, and then we I guess we can go through here like this. This is fine. Uh, and then the morgue was this way. Where am I? What am I doing here? There it is. There's the morgue. Hooray! We made it. Hey, and there's the body that we were looking for. This guy has very thin arms, but I think that's because he's clipping into the uh, thing here. And he also has... Hang on a minute here. Oh, I thought he had red eyes, but uh, just uh, a little bit red. He's got a sweet-ass tat. All right, Virgil. What's uh, what's the deal here? We uh, we already unlocked this, and they didn't lock it back up. <laughs> um... So we'll <laughs> looks like an engagement ring for a girl who's a single day's ATM limit special. Oh, that's nice. That's sweet. We'll take that. Foxy boxes. Oh my goodness, we're going to Foxy boxes. We've got um 1 XP from that. We have a ton of XP right now. We will probably spend it. In fact, actually, there is one thing I want to get. I'm going to get another point of finance right now. Uh, we will need it in the future. Uh, well, don't we, let me rephrase that. We don't need it, but we will take it for the future. <laughs> I guess is the better way to put it. So there's uh, there's a little bit more XP spent, um, but we really don't need to spend any more right this uh, second. I, I like I, I think I've said it before, but I like keeping some XP in reserve for uh, emergency purposes, basically in case we find something we really want to do uh, or the. Um, Want to do? Uh, yeah, I really want to do, and then, <laughs> and then we can uh, we can spend a little XP to, to do it. Hopefully, um, particularly when it comes to you know picking locks or persuasion or something of of that nature. I'm actually kind of surprised our dominate, even at rank one, has really been holding it down. Even though we haven't really needed to use it, we can always use persuasion. It's fun to use it sometimes, just for. Oh, I don't know, RP purposes or, you know, whatever, just to be silly. <laughs> um, at any rate, uh, is this the alley that I want? It is the alley that I want. We're going to go check out this, uh, this store here. Okay. Foxy Boxes, tell me your secrets. What have we got? We're looking for an Asian dude. We've got a computer in here. Let us see if we can hack this computer. Reports, you say. Uh, oh, geez. 10 slash 12 slash 04. Uh, so this game takes place in 2004. There you go. <laughs> um, my initial observations of the city indicate that the canines here are both scattered and unorganized. There are three individuals of note, but they seem to be involved in some sort of dispute. I shall continue to watch and listen. 10, 18, can I, I wish I could hit tab to like auto complete this. Um, these canines are, are a curious and fragile race. Uh, they waste the gift of their immortality on petty schemings and fleshy, fleshly gain. Uh, we will have little problem making this city our own. Uh oh. 
Uh, I guess I couldn't tab auto complete this. Uh, well, no, I guess I could after after this point. Uh, uh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, twenty so four. Uh, it seems that my presence here has been noted by one of the canines, a Nosferatu, I believe they are called. Uh, he has entrusted the responsibility of my surveillance to a bumbling mortal fool. <laughs> I have begun to follow this so-called spy, a small, amusing respite from my usual duties. 10-22-04-1 It seems that I have drawn the attention of a newcomer, an agent of the Prince. I know very little about this individual but the agent seems much more resourceful than most canites I have observed. Aw, oh, shucks. <laughs> I will prepare myself in the event that our paths crossed. Could he be talking about us? I think he's probably talking about us. Uh, um, the agent of whom I spoke for, I uh, spoke of whom I spoke before has discovered the corpse of Virgil Crumb. This guy's stealthy. An altercation seems imminent. If I do not survive, let my last report state that Santa Monica is ripe for the taking. You'll find little resistance if we come here in force. Hopefully he emailed some of this out because I could just fucking wreck this computer right now and nobody will see this. <laughs> uh, that is not a mechanic, I don't think. We could try. Uh, let's see here. Uh-huh. Well, maybe this gun's good for something. Nope. <laughs> Most useless gun on the planet, actually. Uh, we had this fire axe. I don't think we had the skill to use it effectively, but we'll, we'll give it a shot <laughs> um, at some point uh, very soon here. Where are you? Let's see. Let's get... um. Eh, probably start with, like, Blood Boof. Uh oh, this guy's got some skills. Blood buff. He's a Cathayan, huh? Ooh, he's got a uh, crossbow. That is just rude. There you go. Give me, the, give me that blood. It's very obnoxious that you continue to avoid me and do crossbow bullshit. Where are you? He is very, very, very squirrely. We have, uh,. No, no reason to use <laughs> to be using uh, our fists here. I don't think it'll do more damage than this axe. I don't. I would hope. That's right. <laughs> I can't get to you. There we go. You know what? Fine. You want a range battle? You're gonna get a range battle. Oh, even though it does jack shit to this guy. Let's get some uh, blood purge and get this back out. Yeah, this axe is doing okay. It's probably want to... We don't even have blood buff on right now, which is funny, too. Axe, uh, axe is better than sword, apparently. Bye-bye. You are now... De oh, well, you were going to be deceased. Hang on. Let's, uh... Now you're dead. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, we have a crossbow now, though. Now that is worth having. Oh, and a sweet ass samurai sword or something like that. Uh, can't complain about that. Now then, is there anything else in here worth having? This I do not know. I was hoping that there would be. I thought there was something. May not have the per the uh, perception. Slash investigate skill to find it, though. <laughs> Guess it's not up here. Just keep looking around these boxes for a moment. Just to be safe. Nothing there, nothing there. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. I think this is just an arena, which I guess is not terribly surprising. Now then... Just taking a look around one last time here. Let's see. I don't see anything, but I thought it should be here. So what I might do, let me make a cut here and just double check um, what I'm looking for. <laughs> and then we'll we'll see if uh, if it's here or not. 
So I shall uh, see you again in a moment. Okay, so we're actually back uh, at the pier now. Um, what I'm looking for is actually out here. Very difficult to find. It took me several minutes to find this bastard, but uh, it's not where I thought it was. Look at this. Bubble bum. This is uh, the gum that I was looking for several episodes ago. It's an ordinary pack of chewing gum. But now with this, um, we can actually go and talk to uh, that one guy we we're going to sell some stuff to. And we needed to come back here to talk to E and uh, Lily and everything anyway. Um, so this uh, seems like a fine time to do so. so let's go ahead and uh, pop down here. And drop a save. If we come over here, actually... Oh! Fire hurts. Yep, fire bad. I was trying to see if uh, the music would play um, from uh, from this, but... Uh, Sucks, bro. <laughs> but uh, I guess not. I can't hear anything. That's okay. Anyway, so there's Lily. Let's talk to this dude first, I guess. Do you have any of those items you mentioned? Yeah, man. We got uh, we got everything you need. Uh, all right, I got the uh, the special chewing gum for your teeth. Uh, okay, I guess. Here. Uh, also, uh, do you need some unicorn blood? Uh, I'll buy as much as you've got. I got three bags, buddy. I think I have enough for the procedure now. Thanks for the blood. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just be sure though, man, you may want uh, to kill the head vampire with this holy steak. Yeah, here you go. Uh, now where can I find the head vampire? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man, we could send him after LaCroix, that would be kind of funny, but obviously it's the President of the United States, man. You won't have to live like this anymore. I'm going to kill the head vampire. Oh, we lost, uh... We lost some humanity. Was it worth it? Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> okay. So that quest is done. We are filthy flipping rich. Which is... Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't know that gave you a masquerade violation. <laughs> I've never sent him after the president before. That probably wouldn't have happened if we sent him after LaCroix. But, uh... You know what? We'll get. There aren't a ton of opportunities to get masquerade violations back, but I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's it's fine. Uh, let's have a chat with Lily though, real quick here. Hi. So how did it go with E? This life's been hard on him, both of us, but he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there as long as we're together. Uh, yeah, you probably want your stuff back then. Here you go. Thank you. Alright, keep your love alive. Bye-bye. So we got, we got that humanity right back. Um, let's chat with him real quick. Brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped this, but... Your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, no one deserved to be left in that place. I did what was right. Gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. Hmm. Uh, the jack comes out of the box. I don't like the sound of that. But see you later, man. Maybe we should chat with Rosa real quick, and we can talk to him too. See if he's got anything. E evening. Uh, let's see. Know anything about the murder on the pier? M mur murder no no I, I wasn't here when it happened oh I'm not gonna make fun of him thanks anyway man there's no need for that kind of behavior even though I just swindled that other guy you had me no no you are going to China what why is he smiling the father is it, is it the father behind him what you chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh, God. 
Oh God, run! Uh, okay. So we chased it for the one at the top of the city. Uh, on the sea, underground. We found it in the crypt. It's open. Okay, I don't understand. Uh, I sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. Oh, you got a gift. Come on. It's got to be important. Can you tell me anything else? One hand moves the pieces of the game. The winner keeps his hand on the pawn. Um, can you explain? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Hmm. So, do you know anything about the murder on the pier? Murder. Yes, the killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis, and to the home of the stars, and then returns fulfilled and empty once again. Uh, <laughs> hmm. So, that's interesting, but can you be more specific? Probably not. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Okay. Uh, what about, can you tell me my fortune? That seems a little petty, but okay. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Oh, boy. Um... All right. I'll give you 20 bucks. Here's my question. Then ask again. Let's see. What is going to happen to me in the next few nights? The Crimson Sheep. He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. Dinosaurs. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Uh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Who can I trust? Hmm. The man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. Ah, okay. So, um, probably Mercurio there. Alright, so who are my uh, enemies? Men. Everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Well, shucks. Who has a job I can do? Those with a lot to say usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. <laughs> it's almost like a oh like a almost a little teeny fourth wall break. <laughs> Just almost. Uh Let's see. Any advice at all? Something that's going to save my life? Don't open it. Don't open it. Okay. Uh, we'll keep that in mind. In fifth grade, who stole my bike? I see the future, not the past. That's fair. So am I going to win after uh, it's all said and done? Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. <laughs> and I've heard that that's sort of a little dig at uh, video game piracy. <laughs> so, uh, that is, uh, <laughs> that's nice. All right, well, thank you. I uh, appreciate that. So, I don't know if we'll ever talk to her again, but, um, yeah, I'm glad we had that little conversation. Uh, and with that, I think we're actually pretty much done with uh, what we can do here right now. Um... So I think we'll call it an episode here. Actually, no, we'll go talk to Knox, and then we'll call it an episode. Um, and then I think it's off to uh, make use of the, the Astrolite. We might have to go chat with Mercurio about that, but we'll do that next time. But, uh, yeah, we may as well run out here, and I may pick up uh, an extra blood pack for myself. Uh, just since we have so much money, um, seems like it would be prudent. Uh, let's go ahead and we got a lot of cops out here. Maybe we can talk to these guys. Crime scene. 
Gonna have to ask you to step back, please. Oh, what's going on? Uh, some lunatic broke into the gallery and slashed up the paintings. Everyone's a critic these days, huh? Ah, oh, man, I just hope they catch the guy, um, person that did this. Bye-bye now. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> good times, good times. All right, let's uh, pop back into the asylum and uh, finish this quest for Nox and get some XP. We also have... We could bite this guy. Beat attempt failed. That looks awkward. Can you imagine having someone bite your neck while you're taking a piss in the alley? That doesn't sound like a good day for anybody. <laughs> I also kind of want to take a look at that sword we got. I'm sure we don't have the skill to use it properly, but that axe actually worked out pretty well for us. A Shin Gunto. This uh, is a mass-produced version of the traditional Japanese katana, not as effective as a real one, but quite dangerous nonetheless. So, 18 damage potential, 11 lethality. This has actually got better. Um, feet adjustment, minus 2, because we don't have enough... Uh, we don't have enough skill to use it. Um, they both use 5... But the, the axe is actually better, which is interesting. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll talk to her first. Get some blood. And then we'll finish up with Nox. Good stuff. All right. Hey, Nox, I uh, solved your little vampire problem. Oh, nice jacket, bro. <laughs> Yeah, man, I did. You're all set. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. Yes. The thing was hounding me like every night. But I still haven't heard anything from Bertram. Sorry, okay? I still let him know, but for now, I have no way to repay you. Any idea what it was? Bertram said it's like a vampire. But it's different, you know? It's like what they have in China instead of vampires. It's like lots of people coming to California for some reason. I don't know. Oh, uh, well, that's interesting. I better get going. And, uh, yeah, I forgot we actually need to go talk to Bertram. Probably not Mercurio. <laughs> Alright, apologies for the rough, uh, abrupt cut there. Um, but I was editing and I saw that the episode was a little bit on the short side. There's people in different poses every time I look at them? No, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I figured we might as well go over and, um, meet Bertram and talk to him. Because, uh... The next episode is probably going to be pretty busy, if I, uh, am recalling. Yeah, there's our guy. We got our first look at a, uh, real-live Nosferatu, uh, aside from the character creation screen there. He does not look great. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, huh? You knew I was looking for you? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Uh, so are you Bertram Tongue? The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. You do? News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <sighs> How interesting. Ah, uh, that's great. So, you know that I survived. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? Oh, so you knew I'd survive is probably what that line was. Or what it was meant to be. I'm not sure what I read. <laughs> um, excuse me. I probably cut out that cough there. Uh, <laughs> I need to get to that warehouse for Mercurio. Hmm. Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Um, we can ask him about the Sabbat. We know what it is, but we might as well see what he's got to say about it. The Sabbat? Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not gonna say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat, they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it, and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless, and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. Ah. So, uh, just humans, huh? 
As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. So they know they're working for vampires. I mean, I guess we shouldn't be surprised. Yeah. This is a bot like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. Hmm. <laughs> little bit of cynicism in his voice there. So, uh, now the real question. Can you get me in there without being detected? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. All right, let me get a few things together first, and uh, then we'll peace out. <laughs> All right, I guess. Come back when you're ready to go. But don't be too long, Fledgling. This isn't really something we planned around your schedule. <laughs> Whatever, see ya. Okay, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. When we come back, we shall indeed uh, head over to uh, that warehouse and uh, see if we can uh, you know, become an amateur uh, bomb expert. Detonator guy. So until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.